Well, the summer is here, and uh, many people they ask me questions regarding whether they should actually rent an apartment, buy a house during the summertime. People think about that. And in both situations, they have to also keep a healthy credit score, which is also important. And here to talk about how to manage your money and achieve your financial goals, we welcome now the CEO and founder of Credit Solutions, Andy Suku, uh, Y2K Credit Solutions, and a Bronx and Brooklyn realtor, Oliver Toussaint. Good to have you both Thank you. shared Thank here. You. And good to have you. Thank, Thank you, Darren. Thanks As I said, and, uh, Andy, you know, this time of year, people are trying to make that decision a lot, specifically in the summertime, uh, about whether or not it's good for me to actually have an apartment or buy a home. And uh, it's a big difference between both. Right, absolutely. Uh, it all comes down to savings. So what are you going to be spending? Is it worth spending $2,000 for a rent or you can spend $2,000 in your mortgage and you own your own property in the long term? Mm -hmm. um, Oliver specializes in investments and real estates and uh, rentals and he'll touch on that and what's the best option for everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, the rule of thumb is this. You buy low, you sell high, right, if you want to invest, okay? So at this time the market is peaking so you have to look for the right deal at this point in time in the market mm -hmm. okay so if you want to invest I would definitely say you have to figure out um, whether or not this deal works for you from a financial financial perspective um, in terms of uh, spending uh, regards to the to renting if you want to spend uh, let's say uh, uh, three thousand dollars a month renting or you want to spend three thousand dollars a month uh, you know right uh, owning a property so most people would go to rather owning a property as opposed to renting. So you got to look at the, the financial uh, uh, makeup of that for, for yourself personally and see what works best for you. What do you think, because I, I know you're the, a realtor here for Brooklyn as well as the Bronx, what mm -hmm. are we seeing here in New York City? Because we see a lot of development uh, going on. Are we seeing a lot of people purchasing homes? People are purchasing home. The developments that you're seeing now uh, are basically for mostly mid-level to, mid to high-end uh, buyers, right? Um, if you, I would recommend you purchase a home at this point in time. Uh, in all honesty, uh, you want to ensure that uh, you don't you don't get an apartment where you're kind of paying a mortgage for an apartment as opposed to paying a mortgage for an asset that you own. Mm -hmm. So my, my, my suggestion would be to, to get an investment for a home that you own at this point in time. And Andy, you talk about owning a home, obviously it's a big <clears throat> undertaking, but for many people we know, and this is your specialty, uh, the credit and the credit score is paramount. Absolutely. Okay. Um, FICO just actually raised the bar for, for credit scores. Uh, 720 was considered good credit. Uh, 720 is now a fair credit rate, a credit score if you got a decent rate on your car. Okay. 765 is what you need to get a good rate on your interest, mm. interest rate on your mortgage. But to touch a little bit on what uh, Oliver mentioned, in con conjunction of buying a property or renting, budgeting for someone is very important. You have to know your budget if you can afford it because in inception you can get the house, you can get the down payment and so forth, but what happens six months later? Maintaining, correct. Maintaining the right. property. Correct. That's just critical. Like, just like a car. Anyone can get a car. Mm -hmm. Anyone can get a Mercedes, Mars, whatever you want, whatever your choice of car is, but it's maintaining it six months down the line. So budgeting is very, uh, it's a key factor in buying a home or even a car, but in order to budget, you have to have the high credit score mm -hmm. to get a good rate. So when we talk about investing, mm -hmm. when is actually the best time because people always ask that question the best time what's the best time for me to do it when should i really be doing this You're the expert it's though. relative it's relative to be honest with you right so the best time could be now the best time could be 10 years from now it depends on the indiv individual's financials at that point in time so for example um i would say you want to it depends on where you want to find a deal and where you want to look for a deal mm -hmm. okay so uh for example there may be some great deals in uh east new york at this point in time that you can find through a bank or um maybe a short sale or a, um, uh, uh, um, a short payoff from the bank, or maybe someone who's going into foreclosure that's willing to make a deal with you, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all relative. It's really not, you can't say August is the best time or the, or the, or, or the fall is the best time. It's relative to the person's finances and um, where right. they can find the right, right deal, okay? So the right deal could be anywhere in, in the tri-state area, but you have to do your homework and your research in order to get that done, and this is where we come in to try to assist you in, in doing so. To touch on Oliver, um, what he said again also, you can, anytime is the right time to invest if you have the credentials, mm -hmm. you have the credit score, the down payment, W-2, tax returns. If you have all those components to move forward in the mortgage, anytime is a good, good time. It's just the deal that's out there and what fits your budget and what you can afford. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. So you got to pretty much wait for that optimum moment and, and know, what's in your, know what's in your bank account first. Correct. And, you know, in order to prepare yourself for that, have your part, your financials together already. 
Have your tax return, your last two year tax return available. Have your W-2, is your last three month W-2 available. Have your down payment. Have your credit up to par. You know, you don't want to find a deal then coming to the table, my credit score is not up to par. Mm -hmm. And credit score is the key driving uh, component to this everything that happened in the financial world. Better or is it is a good thing to be pre-approved? We hear the pre-approval lies. Is, is it better to always walk into something pre-approved? It depends on the circumstance, uh, but it does enhance your ability to get that that home that you're looking for to get that pre-approval prior. Um, and it also depends on the bank that's going to assist you. Um, most banks that do pre-approve you, um, it depends on the rate that they're going to give you. So those are the things you want to look at. Uh, for those people looking to purchase a home, what I would suggest is that if you're going to go to a certain lender to get this pre-approval, ensure that they kind of give you an outline of the differences and the types of loans they're going to provide for you. So for example, if you want to put three and a half down or maybe 5% down or maybe 10% down, kind of have them compare all three for your long-term basis. So this, is what, this will help you understanding how to maintain the home once you get into purchasing it. Mm -hmm. So the pre-approval does enhance it, but you want to look at other factors also when you're looking to invest or purchase a home. To drill down on what Oliver is stating also, um, I'm in a credit business, so we deal with clients from all walks, um, coming from realtors, mortgage brokers, uh, to fix their credit. Realtors don't want to invest time with a consumer if they don't have a pre-approval. In order to have a pre-approval, you have to have good credit. Your credit mm -hmm. has to be up to par. Correct. So on Oliver's, uh, this, uh, Oliver's point of um, on reference it, on reference it mm -hmm. yes, you should get the pre-approval and which bank you're working with. But on a realtor's perspective, you should get the pre-approval before you even see a realtor. A realtor wouldn't even work with you. And before we get out of the segment, I know you have a major event uh, taking place. Tell us a little bit about yes, that. Yes, anyone? Well, you can speak on it. <laughs> um, so Judy Altman, realtor in Brooklyn, uh, we're partnering up with a seminar for Brooklyn and the Bronx to uh, educate consumers on financial literacy. Um, July 22nd, right? July 22nd, correct. Yeah. It's held in Brooklyn. Um, it's going to be a huge event. And, you know, being in the credit industry, financial literacy, literacy is very limited. And we, find, we realize that a lot of consumers don't have the right financial literacy. So we're trying to educate the consumers, uh, get them ready to buy home purchasing, and even get them to have their credit up to par to save money on interest mm -hmm. and any transaction that they make. Right, and the event is being held um, on 4th Avenue, 25 4th Avenue at uh, uh, the Pacific Brooklyn Public Library branch on the second floor, uh, July 22nd from 11 p.m. to 1 p.m. Well, certainly they have the information at the bottom of the screen where they can be able to tap in and find out more information. and. Uh, Congratulations. I know you're celebrating 11 years as a business as well. Yes, yeah, thank, yes, you yes. For, thank you very much. Uh, yesterday was the 11th year for um, Y2K Credit Solutions being in the uh, credit restoration industry. We made it that far, so I'm very excited about that. And all this started in my mom's basement, like you know, like yeah. I had mentioned before to you. And never in a million years that would have thought that this would have gotten to this level. Um, but we're number one in the industry, and we're here to help all the clients regain their financial powers. All right. Well, Andy Suku and Oliver Tucson, thank you so much for sharing with us. And uh, if you want to find out more about them a little bit more in depth, they'll be on Perspectives, and you can check them both out there. We're going to take a quick break. We've got more show coming up. Stay with us. We'll open you up to more right after this. <laughs> 